Hey there guys, what is going on? It is a very, very exciting time today. As usual, we have the Cold War Season 4 Reloaded roadmap and all the details about what is going to be in the patch. We do not have the patch notes yet, and I'm sure that is coming very, very soon. And if you do want to see me keep you up to date with all the patch notes, all of the information that is regarding the new season and the new update and stuff, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it, and it really does help me out. Of course, we did hit 5,000 subscribers recently, and if you want to see us hit 6,000, Feel free to help me out, man. I massively appreciate that. So let's talk about it here. The major feature of this update is, of course, the new zombies map, Mauer de Tote, and that is going to be very, very exciting. I'm super keen for that. We might end up making a couple of little videos on that, but I'm not 100% sure if we're going to get the boys together and get that going. It does look very, very cool, though. I'm very, very keen on something in like that Berlin, East West Berlin with the Berlin Wall kind of style. That's going to be very, very cool. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens on that map. And again, following the story and see what goes on there as well. As you can see, we do have the roadmap here. We do love a good roadmap, man. We do, of course, have the zombie stuff, which is Mauer de Toten. Again, that is going to be very, very cool. Mule Kick does return, which is always an interesting thing to see come back. We do love new perks and stuff always returning. We basically just love to see more zombie stuff, and that is always good. We're getting the new wonder weapon, which is the C... Oh, what is this so small? The CRBRS... Starts off as an energy-based pistol with an orbiting repeater that fires an extra shot when you fire to upgrade it. You get three additional variants. So that's going to be pretty, pretty cool, hopefully. There's a lot of stuff going to be talking about with that thing. Then the new crafting item, which looks like little grenade things. Again, we'll scroll down all the way to here. we got these little these little gadgets here. What do we got here? Crafting tables. Now to Toten, another round-based zombies maps. Familiar with the Gersh device created by Anton Gersh and another time, we'll know the deadly black hole-like effect. So apparently it's going to be like a little bit of a black hole generator kind of thing, which will suck in any zombies, which is always cool as well. Go back up to the roadmap and we've got, of course, new challenges. No details on that. We might read about a little more in a second. The new intel, which is going to be always cool, to revealing a little bit more of the story. I imagine there is going to be an absolutely fantastic Easter egg on this map as well. We're getting the new operator. Again, Weaver. Here he is. Oh, old mate Weaver, again, this is going to be in the season. Interestingly enough, actually contrary to what they did last season, the OTS9 is going to be launching at the start of the mid-season update, which is just so cool. I don't know why they waited so long to release the AM63, but again, hopefully this should be an absolutely fantastic SMG in this game. I'm so keen for this. Like, I'm very, very keen for new weapons in this game. And then we are getting the mace in the middle of the season again. Then we're getting rush in the 6v6 stuff, capture the flag, paintball mosh pit is going to be very cool. Then the rush 24-7 playlist actually, actually the paintball mosh pit is going to be really, really cool. If you don't know what that is about, basically, instead of having bullets, you're going to be firing paintballs, which is going to be a little bit of a change to the aesthetic. And then cranked mosh pit. Again, if you haven't played that cranked hard point style, you get those like extra power ups. It's just so much fun to sprint around in that playlist and just have a lot of fun. Then, of course, we are getting new League Player Rewards in Pro Issue Blueprints. I think that is a very, very cool idea. If you don't know what's going to happen there, essentially, when you do get certain ranks and other things, you're going to unlock specific blueprints for League Play, and that are going to be designed around what pro players use. That's a really, really cool idea. I really do like that addition. Again, Prestige Shop Blueprints. We're going to see some new stuff as well. Then the new Warzone mode. We got the Payload Game mode, which is going to be fairly interesting. A new kill streak in the Sentry Gun and Blueprint Blitz in the middle of the season, which we'll have to wait and see with that. Of course, again, we are continuing the zombie story. If you are staying up to date, doing all the Easter eggs and other those good things, you are very, very keen on this. This is going to be fairly interesting to see exactly what happens in this, what how that ties into the story and so on. But we will have to wait and see what happens with that. That's going to be very, very exciting. Again, Mauer de Toten, the next chapter in the Dark Aether story, an epic battle against the undead in a divided city. Again, I really do like the East-West Berlin kind of idea. That's very, very cool. Again, the update does unfold on July the 15th, which is going to be, I think, Thursday. So that's going to be pretty cool as well. I think the updates usually come out around 2 p.m. my time. So again, we'll have to wait and see when that actually does drop. Again, continuing on a way down here, again, more talk about Mauer de Toten, set after the events of Operation Excision in Outbreak, which I believe is the Ural Mountain stuff in that Outbreak game mode. Mauer de Toten is Treyarch's next classic round-based zombies experience, where Requiem agents currently working for the Omega Group in a bid for their freedom. So this is going to be really, really cool. It seems like you're doing a like, little bit of game, like Simon says, and trying not to die to Colonel Gravchenko. Very, very cool stuff. Again, we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. Navigate through the dark streets lit only by spotlight street lamps and the long abandoned vehicles to reach various key landmarks and structures, including a U-barn where flaming trains... Oh, that's going to be pretty cool. I think this is like talking about the undead subway kind of thing. Again, sweet. Again, the return of Mule Kick that we talked about previously. Basically, this gives you a third weapon in your loadout. means you can carry three weapons around. A very, very cool addition to the game. There's some really cool weapons in Zombies this year. 
being able to carry three of them is super cool. Again, the new crafting item and the new wonder weapon, as we did talk about this thing, this little, little goofy looking grenade thing, you chuck that down, it's gonna suck zombies in. Then of course, the new wonder weapon, as you can see here, this is like an automatic pistol kind of thing, literally like a laser pistol, super, super cool. And there is gonna be three different variants, I guess. I guess that technically makes it four variants with the base one and then three additional ones on top, I think. But then you can attach it onto the CRBRS to transform it into a completely different weapon. So there's gonna be some, gonna be some cool stuff with like weapon mods. It's gonna be very, very sweet in my opinion. To acquire the CRBRS, you'll have to explore Mail to Totem to find the hidden one via its own quest, prove yourself worthy at the trial machines or just get plain lucky from the mystery box. Again, there's new zombies information. As you can see, there's different challenges as always, different intel revealing more of the story. We're not super interested in following the story of zombies, but I know you guys out there absolutely love the zombies information. So this is gonna be one for you guys. Keep this in mind here, there's gonna be new stuff. Then the Black Ops Cold War free multiplayer content. This is what we are all about. Rush is coming back and that is so, so cool. The paintball map, oh, just so good. Again, a remastered map from Call of Duty Black Ops 2's Vengeance DLC, which is a one that I definitely paid for and played so much. Rush is a small 6v6 map that takes place in and around a paintball course, which is just such an excellent idea for a map. I just I can't imagine why they haven't done that more. Again, with something like a skate park as well, with I think it was Grind from, again, Black Ops 2. Such a sick idea. There's just so many cool map designs they could go with. And this is an absolutely fantastic one as well. A little bit of something for everyone, and that is what people like about Call of Duty maps. This is going to be one of the better maps in the game, in my opinion. Probably A tier, probably S tier as well. So just wait and see. We might end up ranking this as well. So just keep an eye out for that. Capture the Flag, of course, is returning as well as Paintball Mosh Pit, which is going to be very, very cool. Like Call of Duty, this game mode as Capture the Flag has plenty of history behind it. This is going to be the take of Call of Duty. Capture the Flag is going to be fairly interesting. It's not really my favorite game mode style. It usually ends up with lots of people camping the flags, and that's not usually very fun. But hopefully, it does actually end up being kind of fun, which is always interesting. We'll have to wait and see how this one plays out. Again, the new playlist, Rush 24-7, being added is very, very cool. As you can see here, we do have our guy. He's actually holding the new weapon. We've seen it probably a little bit throughout some of these pictures that I haven't actually been looking at properly, but that's the new weapon there. OTS-9, going to be very, very cool. Again, the Cranked Mosh Pit as well. If you've not tried the Cranked Mosh Pit, being able to get those extra power-ups and stuff, reload, speed, aim down, side speed, all these movement speed stats are so much fun, man. So just keep an eye out for the Cranked Mosh Pit. If you've not played it, definitely jump into it because it is so much fun here. Again, the Weapon Blueprint rewards from the League play is going to be very, very cool as well. Introducing new Weapon Blueprints and Call of Duty League-themed weapon chance for competitive fans to earn in League play. So new rewards for League play is always a good idea to get people interested and definitely playing the game. Very, very fun here as well. And more blueprints in the Prestige Shop. New weapon blueprints in the Prestige Shop is very, very cool. Using those Prestige keys to earn every five levels to hit up the Prestige Shop and unlock some new stuff for your arsenal. That's actually very, very cool. That's a good idea. So again, Warzone and Black Ops Cold War content. We are talking about the two new free weapons here. Again, the OTS-9 SMG, which is coming in at launch, which is so cool. I didn't actually expect them to release this. I sort of think they would maybe trickle it down a little bit, but is what it is here. Do have a full auto submachine gun, impressive firepower at close range with good visibility when firing, reliable recoil control with smaller magazine size. Sacred among CQB operators for its ability to deal solid damage at a high fire rate. Formerly classified OTS-9 can be compared to the Bullfrog in terms of damage and fire rate. Slightly more power and over 100 rounds per minute more in fire rate, which is very, very cool at a reduced ammo capacity. This starts at a 20 round default magazine, which is really, really cool. And that's enough to deal with a few operators, especially if they get some headshots as well, according to this. But you can actually unlock some larger magazines. I think the most you're gonna get is probably a 40 round mag, which is really, really nice, which is gonna be excellent for just running and gunning, killing lots of people in most game modes. Very, very excited about this. As it says here, the OTS-9 is primed to compete with the best SMGs across Black Ops, Cold War, and Warzone. It can either be unlocked via in-game challenge or have one of its blueprints bought in the store. So that's gonna be very, very exciting exciting man i'm super keen for this hopefully it does end up being part of the meta i love new smgs in this game and hopefully this is going to be very very cool as well then we do have the mace which is returning i love melee weapons being added to this game they're just so goofy man and this one is no exception just being able to bonk someone over the head with this big mace and look at this thing it's so deadly that's going to be pretty cool again this is going to be unlockable by a kind of goofy weapon challenge i imagine probably just get some melee kills do some sliding kills whatever with some knives and some other things that you may have unlocked so this is going to be quite cool Keep an eye out for this one if you care about the melee weapon. Then moving on again, we have new operator in Weaver, which is being added to the NATO side. I don't really care too much about new operators and stuff. This is probably going to be unlocked via, I believe, something from the store again, which is, if you're interested in that, that is up to you. 
Again, there is gonna be the new tracer packs and everything like team supporter packs to write into the store. Again, more stuff that you can pay for. You've gotta trust them to make stuff that you can pay for in these updates. And then of course, all of the stuff that we're getting in season four reloaded. We are super, super excited about it. What I would very much like to see, of course, is some weapon balancing. We do not want the C58 to be literally the worst gun in the game. We just wanna keep that going. We wanna get that actually used by people. We wanna see some balance changes. In my opinion, that could have a three shot kill, whether that includes some headshots or not. We'll have to wait and see, but just make that thing more powerful. Don't touch the fire rate. The slow firing assault rifle is just fine as it is, but make some damage changes, make some maybe bullet velocity changes, get this thing hitting as hard and as fast as possible. Should make it a little bit more interesting, hopefully. So again, Hopefully you did enjoy this one. Hopefully you're very, very excited for the mid-season update in season four. I know I am. I'm very much looking forward to the new SMG and hopefully some weapon balancing changes. So fingers crossed for that. Again, thank you very much for watching this one. I do massively appreciate it, of course, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.